What up, y'all? We back. Sorry I didn't have a video out yesterday to go to this weekend in which I was part of the wedding party. And it was a really good time. Spent the whole time drinking, making jokes, having fun, taking pictures. The suits are really nice, really comfortable. Usually not really comfortable in suits, to be honest, but a good job. I enjoyed myself. Whatever drink they were making there, some kind of mixed drink that was named after my buddy's dog. And oh my God, it was legitimately the best taste mixed drink I have ever had. Any of you guys who follow my Instagram, you might have seen the stories and the pics, but uh, if not, make sure you go in the links in the description and go there the next time. But yeah, what I want to talk about is my favorite modification that I've done to the Hawk 250 and the mod that I think is the most important. I mean, it is kind of technically two, map, two mods, but what I think is the most important, we're just going to get it out of the way, is the sprockets. The front sprocket and the rear sprocket. By default, it comes with a 15 in the front and a 50 in the back and that just pulls way too hard for how slow this bike is so in first gear you get up to like seven miles an hour eight miles an hour and you're redlining by stock and that can actually be kind of dangerous because you can't even really pull off into a side street or can't really cross an intersection very quickly in that time you know, when you're halfway across the street you got to shift up and if you're a brand new rider which a lot of people who buy bikes like this are you're gonna have to be very dexterous or dexterous with your shifting because the engine braking as well with the stock setup is way too strong at any point if you let off the throttle it jerks you forward as if you're applying the brakes pretty hard so when you upgrade the 17 in the front and to a 45 in the back it elongates the gears a lot more so you get a totally usable first gear get all the way up to 20 miles an hour even though it's screaming there you can get where you need to go you can navigate a parking lot you can do whatever you need to and smoothly transition into second the drawback of this is you feel a little bit less torque through the bike not that this bike is super torquey to begin with and the fifth gear feels kind of dead fifth gear is definitely a cruising gear once you get up to like 50 miles an hour and you just want to be able to chill, pop it into fifth and you're good to go. What feels like the best gear with this new gearing is the third gear. Has the strongest engine braking and the best acceleration. You can really push with it. It definitely feels the best when I'm going through like little twisties and stuff. I usually keep it in third or fourth gear. Yeah, in third, you can get all the way up to like 45, 50 miles an hour if you really want to ring it there. And then you still have fourth and fifth. Traveling at comfortable RPMs. Because right now I'm going 29 miles an hour. I could even be in fifth gear at 3K RPM. Chilling. Makes for a lot more relaxed and chill ride. And while I've done a lot of mods to this thing, and a lot of them I would damn near deem essential, the first thing I would do, and the only thing if I was only doing one thing, and I was using my bike for street riding, it's the gears. Has to be the gears. It was damn near unrideable stock. I will say though, if you are wanting to do wheelies with this bike for whatever reason, you're probably going to bend the rim before you even learn how to do them correctly. But with this gearing, you're not going to be popping wheelies. I accidentally did a wheelie when my bike was stock, when I was just slamming through the gears. And that has never happened again. Even if I dump the clutch pretty hard. Oh man, what happened here? Looks like a trash truck might have broke or got hit. It's a lot of trash. That's crazy. I didn't see any glass in there, so that's pretty good. That's what I was worried about. I think a bunch of glass shards on the ground. Ooh, my idle's too high. Oh, neutral. God damn it. Alright, y'all. 
Time for me to head into the gym, sweat off all the alcohol that I drank this weekend. And I will see you guys when I'm out. All right, we back. Get away from those devious female gym eyes. Trying to peek through the shorts. I see y'all. I see y'all. Oh man, it feels good to be back in the gym regularly again. I took a solid like two years off through the pandemic. I told myself at the beginning, I'll just take a couple months off, let this all clear up. It'll be a nice little break. And then it never cleared up. But we're back and we enjoying it and none of that trash is cleaned off the ground yet. It's been an hour. I was thinking about potentially getting a track bike. Oh, there is some broken glass in the ground. Yeah, there's a lot of really cheap bikes, no title, clean VIN, that people just like, they bought their bike and never got a title for it. That is kind of not what you would ever want to use for street riding, but to just take to the track, probably not a bad idea. Buy some Beater R6. Get that thing ready to go. Because the prices on those like older sport bikes, like early 2000s, R6s and uh, Jixxers are really not that expensive. I really want that Jixxer 750, but it just doesn't have any electronics. That's the problem. If I'm gonna be spending that much money on a bike and a bike that goes that fast, I feel like I'd like some traction control and some ABS, you know? It's part of the reason why I was pushing so much towards the RS660 It's got all those electronics and a 600 class engine But at the same time the price is pretty premium you can get some thousands for the price of a RS660 Man this sucks So right now the two the only two ways for me to get from inside town to my house are both blocked off this one you have to go through a parking lot. Come on, dude, what are you doing? Come on. Like I was saying, they're both blocked off, so we have this detour. And it happens to be right near my house, so every time I have to go somewhere, I have to go through it. And the only other way out through the back roads is also happens to be blocked right now because they're doing some road work. So yeah, not a fun commute right now, but gets the job done. Jesus Christ. This guy almost went off the freaking sidewalk. See, and even with this gearing, it's still short enough where you're still kind of banging through the gears. You just don't have to go all the way up to fifth gear when you're going 30 miles an hour like before. Oh yeah, that's gonna be it for me guys. Peace out, stay safe. See you next time.